bit of a tech issue on my side. I'm working it out. So uh, sit back, relax, just making sure that uh, we are up and running. If you hear me all right and see me all right, uh, well, I haven't turned on the camera yet. I'm a hideous look away. Now I'm going to turn that on here momentarily. Do, uh, do make sure that uh, chat in if you guys hear me okay. And uh, again, we will get started here uh, momentarily. I'm just uh, doing a quick sound check. Everybody good? Everybody tuned in? Excellent. All right. Throwing a few things into a uh, trading application over here. And uh, we're going to be off and running. Sounding good. Excellent. I must have my other screen up and running. All right, welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Don Kaufman. We're starting here just momentarily, doing just a brief hiatus here to make sure that we're, uh, we're okay. Tuned in, turned on, high probability guide to beating the bear market. Gonna start here momentarily. I, uh, again, uh, a few informalities I'm gonna cover on my side. By the way, if you see me looking around, there's a monitor here, a monitor here, a monitor here. I'm looking everywhere. I'm also, uh, people constantly ask me if, uh, if this presentation is live, it's, it's live. So if you have uh, questions and or comments, uh, the chat room is, uh, is available. I am reading it in real time. So uh, by all means, feel free, to, uh, feel free to chat in, just making sure that everybody is okay. I mean, one of the most important things here is that you uh, hear us all right, see us all right. I am broadcasting from Payson, Arizona. <laughs> and again, we're gonna start here momentarily. So uh, sit back and uh, relax for just one moment. All right, good afternoon, possibly good morning, or even good evening. I have absolutely no time zone uh, you might be joining us from. My name is Don Kaufman, and you are watching a Theo Trade presentation. Welcome, everybody. Feel free again to chat in where you guys might be joining us from, just out of my curiosity. We're not keeping records of it. I'm just always curious where everybody's joining us from. I am live from uh, up in the mountains in Arizona. I'm up in Payson, Arizona. It's about 5,000 feet. It's a little bit cooler up here. I was actually down in uh, Phoenix yesterday. It was a balmy 113. Ooh, it's never a good temperature. With, uh, with that, uh, I am off the... Uh, off the island for about another month. So uh, for those of you unfamiliar with uh, Theotrade, we are now based out of uh, St. Croix in the US Virgin Islands. People ask why, it's an island, it's nice. <laughs> just back in Arizona for a short amount of time, uh, just making sure we're, uh, we're getting things done on, uh, on the US side of the uh, business. With that, today's presentation, High Probability Guide to Beating the Bear Market. Again, my name is Don Kaufman. Uh, risk disclosure, we are not financial advisors nor a broker dealer. Of course, I spent a significant amount of time of my career in the brokerage side of the business. So uh, I always like to throw that disclosure up there. I am out. I am no longer in the brokerage business. Pretty excited about that. Listen, this is uh, expressly why you are here. So we're gonna discover a little bit about Ultima Trades. Now, how many of you today, and again, if you see me looking off to the screen over here, that's because, uh, again, I have multiple monitors set up where I'm always, I'm looking around. It's, it's Amazon Prime Day. You too can buy a monitor. It's like $10 off, that's it. It's, it's not that good of a deal. Anyway. The, uh, I know what you need, another pressure cooker. Everybody needs at least six of those. Um, 
for those of you actually uh, tuning in today, how many of you have actually uh, learned a little bit about Ultima Trades with us uh, here at TheoTrade in the past? Just, you know, why for yes and for no. Curious if uh, we have any repeat uh, people. Again, people always ask if this is live. Again, we are live. I already had somebody, uh, you know, pop in here. So uh, asking again if it's live. It's live! In fact, uh, one of the things I was hesitating on a moment, I was just getting the market set up. The S&Ps are massively unchanged on this uh, on this Tuesday morning. And again, I'm on Pacific time right now. So we're going to discuss ultimate trades. And every time I talk a little bit about ultimate trades, it's a slight differential. I mean, I'm always adding to this presentation. We have now here at TheoTrade been discussing ultimate trades for, uh, for over two years. And uh, I know it sounds boring, right? But it works. And that's what's so critical. So we're going to talk about Ultima Trades and why they're so ideal for the current market environment to generate monthly income. You're going to learn a, a trading symbol here just momentarily a little bit about SKU, <coughs> which we use continuously. Uh, I'm going to discuss uh, how to find edge as a retail trader, reap the benefits of high probability trades. And uh, of course, what products are going to be uh, phenomenal for ultimate trades and what products. And when I say the word product, I, uh, I don't want to confuse anybody by that terminology. The terminology product just relates to, listen, I don't care whether you trade a stock or whether you trade crypto, whether you trade a futures contract. Listen, it's all the same thing. In the end, you know, you can buy it or you can sell it. And that's so critical to, uh, to understand. You know, it's funny because Crypto people separate themselves from stock market people, from option people. I mean, you're one of those option guys. You're one of the crypto guys. Listen, everything now, everything trades from one front end piece of technology. I mean, if you're, you know, on Tastyworks, here, here, there's a futures contract. There's a stock. There's an ETF. Well, hold on, let's just uh, let's trade some crypto because we've got crypto on here. Uh, they're even adding currencies in here, and there's futures contracts. You name it. It's a uh, it's a click away. And I'm critical about that because there's no separation anymore of products. A few uh, housekeeping items. Listen, this is a skill set. I'm going to move a pretty good clip today. So uh, if you're, you know, multitasking, I suggest if you're into this, you should pay attention. Close Facebook, ease up in the multitasking, kick out the kids, dog can stay. Listen, this is skill set. I'm going to run at a very uh, fast pace during portions of this. There is a tremendous amount to learn. That's why if uh, you read the chat, <coughs> excuse me, like 11% humidity here, it's, it's dry. It's very dry. But uh, if you read the chat, there's a lot of people that have heard about Ultima Trades and they'll even come back here because there's just so much to acquire in the next you know, 90 minutes. So uh, listen, you took the time to be here. This is important. Focus on being here. This is a little bit about uh, me. So I, people always ask, you know, how you got involved in a business. I grew up uh, around trading. So I had family members that were market makers in Chicago. Um, I don't put much emphasis on that other than the fact that when you have family in the business, it's just, it's pretty natural to be like, oh yeah, you know, uh, they made a lot of money and uh, I think it's, you know, it's just natural inclination. So three weeks out of college, I got involved in markets and uh, no intent whatsoever. Uh, worked with a cousin of mine and, um, you know, they, they built a huge trading firm back in the seventies and eighties. And I, uh, I only started in like the late nineties. Uh, so I started working in Chicago, uh, spent about two years in Chicago. Then I was invited to a startup brokerage firm called Think or Swim. Some of you may or may not be familiar with Think or Swim. Um, Think or Swim was kind of like the, uh, you know, like the fairy tale story for a uh, for career. I started there when, you know, there was, I think I was an employee, lucky number 13 at Think or Swim. And uh, I was on the executive team when we took the company public in 2007. Uh, I was on the team that actually uh, was involved in the TD Ameritrade acquisition in 2009. And uh, I went on to uh, serve as the director of education and then ran all of education at uh, TD Ameritrade and their 7 million clients from uh, roughly 2010 to 2015. Uh, I exited TD Ameritrade after a five-year lockup clause. So <laughs> exited on a wonderful note with them. 
and took uh, a couple of people from the group at TD Ameritrade and Thinkorswim, and uh, we built Theotrade. So it's a little bit of a uh, background on me. And what you're going to learn today uh, here at Theotrade comes from the experience of having watched order flow uh, literally for a decade and a half. Uh, we got to see everything that you did. And one of the most insightful areas of the entire career, both at Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade, was the access to you and your order flow. And what that basically means is, and, and people don't even understand like the concept of order flow. And you're like, this is wrong. If you understand the concept, you're probably thinking this is wrong, but the concept is a very simple one. We got to see everything that you did and we studied it. Like if you're gonna run the education, okay, firm of at the time when I was there, if you're gonna run education of a 20 or $30 billion company, and the time I was there, we were about a $20 billion company. But if you're gonna run the education side of a $20 billion company, what would you do? You would use every resource you possibly could to be able to build the education. So the best resource for educating clients was to actually look at what clients were doing, what was working and what wasn't. And we used to actually study a profile of clientele to the, uh, to the nth degree. Like if you told me, hey, I sold iron condors back from, uh, from 2005 to 2007, I can tell you every degree about it. Hey, I sold covered calls at TD Ameritrade you know, back in 2015. We knew the statistics on it. I traded futures contracts. We knew the statistics on it. And one of the things that we employ here at Theotrade is we know it precisely dialed in what works uh, for retail and what doesn't. Like this, you know, forget market making career and so forth, because that has no bearing on what's done in the retail world. We know what works for retail and what doesn't. And that's exactly what we're going to uh, discuss here today is what works expressly for you. By the way, if you ever need to get a hold of me after today, go to support at theotrade.com. Just put my name in the subject and that email will go directly to me. All right. Still do a couple of media appearances. Actually, I, I do apologize. I was three minutes late today because I did uh, a quick media hit right before hopping on uh, here. So this is actually TD Ameritrade TV. I do a TD Ameritrade TV spot each week, do a, a few CNBC spots from time to time. It's obviously the most memorable because it's myself pitted against Kevin O'Leary. If uh, you're going to be pitted against somebody, this is, uh, this is the guy you want to be uh, up against. Um, let's get down to business. Listen, we've changed uh, a bit of our operation here at Theotrade. For those of you that, that know Theotrade, okay, we have now been around since uh, early 2016. We launched Theotrade in early 2016. Uh, we roughly charge $100 a month to access Theotrade. So if you will, what is Theotrade? Theotrade is a site where we can trade stocks, options, futures, we have cryptocurrency, um, and we have a specific instructor for each genre of trade. So again, we've charged approximately $100 a month to access Theotrade since roughly 2016. Well, on this particular presentation, going to uh, twist things around a little bit, we will, uh, we will not charge for access to the Theotrade site. We are actually in a marketing agreement with a firm called Tastyworks. If okay, you open a Tastyworks account, you will receive 90 days of Theotrade membership totally on the house. In addition to it, and I like to cover this right up front because I don't want anyone that's tuned in today. And again, we have some pretty solid uh, number of people tuned in to today's uh, session, but I do not want anyone in any uncertain terms to think that there, here comes the big pitch. There's no pitch here. If you are so inclined and would like to open a Tasty Works account and you will see me <coughs> use, excuse me, you'll see me use the Tasty Works platform a pretty considerable amount today. Uh, I also, I don't mind this. I, I keep think or swim running in the background as well. Like I came from a Thinkorswim background, but the Thinkorswim founders built a new company. That company is called Tastyworks. Um, we're in a marketing relationship with Tastyworks. We help open Tastyworks accounts. Why does Tastyworks want to work with Theotrade? Ultimately, because our clientele are successful. Successful clientele continue to trade. In addition to receiving three months of Theotrade. And again, there's absolutely no cost. Like you don't have to pay a dime to Theotrade. Tastyworks is covering your tuition. In addition to it, 
Tastyworks is going to give you $200 in stock just for opening the account. In addition to that, the small exchange. If you're unfamiliar with small exchange, there is a new, okay? Okay. It's just right on the forefront of technology futures exchange called small exchange. They offer a subscription service to receive a dramatically discounted fee structure for trading their products. It's a hundred dollar value. We have purchased those subscriptions for you. So you receive 90 days of fee or trade, $200 a stock, a hundred dollar small exchange uh, subscription and to cap it off. You would have to fund very quickly here. Brandon Chapman has a thousand dollar six week beginner's guide to ultimate trade mastermind that kicks off July 18th. And I say you have to fund, you have to open the account at Tastyworks, you have to fund it and you get everything. Okay. No questions asked, get access to Theo Trade and everything we do. And when I say everything we do, I'll go over that. But um, we have different instructors. There's eight full time instructors here. We give you access to chat rooms and communicate with other clients. We text out trades. Let's get down to business. I'll actually show you a little bit about it. By the way, if you want to open up the Tastyworks account, it's theotrade.com forward slash Tastyworks. And again, I'm very, very forthright with this. And the reason being is <clears throat> I think a lot of people, they tune into a lot of webcasts. And here's the pitch. It's, it's going to be a $3,000 item. Okay. We're not selling anything. Open up a Tastyworks account and uh, you're in. And that's, uh, that's one of the most important things uh, is to know. And if you're unfamiliar with Tastyworks, you should get familiar. Uh, this is the up and coming firm. This firm will eclipse what I think or swim has built within the next three years. This is uh, this the firm to be at. All right, with that, let's uh, let's get started here. So uh, Brian Aponte uh, can definitely answer a few questions. Brian Aponte uh, is part of our support team here at Theo Trade. Can answer a few of your questions regarding Tastyworks. All right, let's uh, let's get down to business. So. <clears throat> What are ultimate trades? Higher volatility has resulted in significantly more options premium, right? And options implied volatility skew has also done phenomenal things and the volatility of the volatility remains at record highs. What I'm actually getting into, okay? What I'm getting into, and I just wanna you know, jump right head on into this. We look at markets. A lot of people look at what's called VIX, all right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess a lot of people are familiar with VIX. Let's open up VIX here for just, just a brief and fleeting moment. Let's open it up on a 10-year chart. Okay, so that's VIX over the last 10 years. Now let's get crazy. Let's open up VIX in this case for um, you know, even a longer time frame. You want to look like monthly for like the last you know, 10 years or so. I mean, that's fine. It's 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 all par for the course, or even like uh, 20 years of VIX. What I want to show you, all right, is right here. Okay, higher volatility. I mean, this is a standout. Why is it a standout? I mean, that's the financial crisis. We're sitting here right now and we're part of the way into, we don't even know what, we're into a rising interest rate environment, possibly some recessionary fears. But the one thing that's a real standout is since the onset of COVID, um, there has been significantly, significantly more volatility. And it doesn't, doesn't matter who you are, where you come from. I think everybody has to agree in that respect is, you know, it's funny because uh, people don't agree on anything these days, but they'll agree, like, look at the volatility out there, especially this year. That higher volatility is uh, definitely promoting, okay, what we term the sale of options. But there's also a tremendous right now, what we term skew. Now, skew has to do with the distortion and how things are priced. Now, I don't want to go hugely into skew. And if you're unfamiliar with skew, like, people get all bent out of shape. This is skew this and skew that, and, okay? Skew has to deal with the distortion okay, of how options are priced in the S&Ps. Okay? In effect, what skew does is it can be extremely advantageous. Okay? And by the way, it's under the symbol. So I know that some people are going to question this. It's, it's skew. It's S is in Sam, K is in kick, E is in echo, W. So it's skew. <laughs> skew has a uh, all kinds of strange distortions since the onset of COVID. And I say strange distortions. I'd like to say it was just high or just low, but skew, it's just constantly been in flux and it has really been advantageous. So, you know, you hear these terms skew and higher volatility and, you know, and then skew, like what does it amount to? Here, here's the bottom line. Skew provides edge in the sale of out of the money options. Now, there are some people that are tuned in today, some people that are tuned in that are just vehemently against the idea of even options. 
I'm never going to learn options. Listen, it's okay. okay. I just, I want you to see what is ahead of you in this marketplace. And what is ahead of you in this marketplace, okay, is extreme volatility. Now, you might think that that's in the rear view mirror, but again, VIX doesn't lie. VIX is well above its historic average right now. It continues to rise ever so slightly on a uh, on a month over month basis. And you know the bottom line is in an environment, okay, where it's not easy to pick stock market direction right now. And I think everybody could probably agree on that. And I'm trying to be as eloquent as I possibly can in stating that. But if you're having a tough time picking uh, stock market direction, you're going to have to learn ways, maybe for the next, I don't know, five years, decade, to produce profitability. If you want to be involved in this business, and this business is you know, the stock market in general, okay, crypto. By the way, I throw crypto in there because you can do the same things in stocks, options, and futures contracts as you can in crypto. You may not think so, but you absolutely unequivocally can at this point in time. There's a ton of new crypto-related products. And you're like, ah, crypto's just been beaten to death. I don't believe in it. You don't have to. You don't have to. I'm not asking you to pick direction in crypto. I'm just asking you to understand how things like skew work, okay? How things like options work and that historically, you know, a lot of retail traders have been buying options, okay? Professionals have been selling options and we're going to discuss that. We're actually going to discuss learning to sell options. So I like to jump over that right off the bat and say, hey, listen, I know that not everybody came in today to, oh, I want to learn about options. But at this point, all I want you to do, if you're brand new here and you've never had experience with options, just sit back, relax, listen, grab big strokes of logic. You know, a lot of people hear this kind of through the grapevine that selling options is the way, okay, to make money. I mean, honestly, how many people have heard that? And I always ask that question because I'm curious, like, is that still kind of the running, you know, people hear all kinds of stuff. They look at like Facebook groups and um, they constantly discuss this. Just a, a why for yes and N for no. These are not rhetorical questions. Like looking over to the chat room, it's very quiet. I mean, how many people have legitimately heard that? Like selling options is a great way to be able to make some money, okay? And it's, I think it's important to be able to denote uh, just that that selling options for years has been a really effective way to make money. But if you've done this, <laughs> you find out pretty quick, like, you know, it, it kind of separates like those who understand risk and those who don't like that. You're going to find out real quick that in selling options, the selling options portion is pretty straightforward. It's managing the risk that you're going to have to learn. So today's session, I'm going to separate myth from real risk, fact from fiction, all about selling options premium. Uh, again, if you're brand new to this, do not panic. There's two main points that I want to make. The first point that I want to make is maybe you know nothing about options. That's okay for today's presentation. All right. And I want to stress that again. If you know absolutely nothing about options, you're okay. You're going to go and grasp big concepts. You want to think about probability and risk. For those of you that are experienced, if you're experienced, you want to be able to catch like the little nuances. Like what's the little nuances? What I'm actually doing structurally to build the trade? Which options am I actually trading? Okay. What's the probability? Like it, it goes a little bit deeper. Now, again, <clears throat> this presentation is geared for absolute novices and portions of this presentation are going to go to the extremes. The other part, and I think that's critical to understand. No matter how many times that I do this, I'm serious about this. People constantly come in here and go, I don't have very much money to trade $2,000 in a funded account. In fact, here, I'm going to see, okay? Let's not talk. Let's, you know, there's, there's one thing you'll learn here at Theo Trade, and that is I am no holds barred. Okay, I will show you every aspect about every account that I trade, every dollar I've made, every dollar I've lost. And I don't think I made that statement uh, right up front. <coughs> it is absolutely critical, okay, that you guys know just that. 
Uh, I'll never show you a trade, never show you a trade without executing into the position myself. Uh, I would never display or send out a trade that I wouldn't take myself. I would also never hold back from you. People constantly ask, and I do trade in a number of different accounts. People constantly ask, what do you make? What do you lose? Okay, that right there. And there's, you know, this is every single product I've traded. And I know it's a little bit off the screen. Okay, you should take a quick glance right there. Okay, that is year to date, right? And that's a year to date profit. It's $180,000. Okay, I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's not that much. It's only 180 grand. Like, listen, didn't start this year, okay, with a critical amount of capital in here. You know, you have good days, you have bad days. So it's at 340, now it's up to 348. I haven't added anything this year. So you kind of know what I started with this year to be up $180,000. So again, no holds barred approach to where <coughs> I will show you. When I say every single trade, like, you know, if you want to see everything I've ever done on the spiders, right, from like 30 days back, or for instance, you can even go 300 days back, okay? I would never hesitate to show you. Right. So there's 90 fills. It's every trade I've done in the spiders. Okay. If you want to see everything I've done in an opposing account, okay, I take the Tasty Works accounts very seriously. The reason I take the Tasty Works accounts so seriously, when I trade in Tasty Works accounts, these are the trades that get texted to the Theo Trade clientele. So these are the utmost importance to me when I look at the trades inside of the Tasty Works account. It's just the last seven days. You can go back to the last 120 days. You can see every single fill. Again, this is a no holds barred approach to, you know, I think there's a lot of education firms out there that, you know, that talk a good game, but I'll show you everything and every execution that I do. And again, we're not charging you anything for the education. You're coming in through Tasty Work. So Let's, uh, let's get into it. I don't, by the way, I was saying, I, I don't want anybody to think they have to have a lot of capital just to show you this. I'm in a pretty good position over here, tying up $1,000 and this position is in my IRA. This isn't a retirement account. So it's in a SEP retirement account. All right, let's dive right into it. There's a lot of facets to selling premium. So <clears throat> some people have heard of like the sale of options. They call the sale of options selling premium. They call it credit spreads. They short short call spreads, short put spreads, bull call spreads, bear call spreads, bull put spreads, bear put spreads, delta neutral trading, iron condors, selling naked. It's all the same crap. <laughs> like, listen to me. I threw this up here for one reason, one reason only, okay? And that reasoning in here, and by the way, I'm reading uh, reading back in here, that, uh, that reasoning in here, is very simple. In the end, like people make this business way harder than it needs to be. Like I have grown up around the business and I always kind of laugh because I always think to myself, like people are like, oh, I was doing this like iron condor. I was doing this mambo combo or some ridiculous name for a trade. In the end, there are calls and there are puts. You can buy them or you can sell them. That is it. Selling premium can be bullish or bearish, that's fine. But you're not gonna hear about MACDs and Fibonacci's and Bollinger Bands today, okay? What I'm gonna discuss today is expressly market neutral, okay? What does market neutral mean? It means I'm not here to imply directional bias. What am I here to do? Make money and reduce risk. I'm gonna say that again. I am not here to express what I think is gonna happen in the market. I'll tell you what I think. I think it's gonna be volatile. Pretty straightforward, right? From there, I am here to tell you, okay, that in a volatile marketplace, even if volatility were to die down, I mean, it's extreme right now, but even if it were to die down considerably, there's still such wonderful edge to sell premium. But I'm not here to tell you about direction of the market. I am here to discuss, all right, what to do to generate monthly income, how our members are doing year to date. By the way, I asked this question to our membership Okay, mid June. Big text. Thanks for the training. I'm up 23% in one count, 18% in my IRA. You do realize that June 16th, right? I just want to bring this up. Okay. And uh, it was a huge down day that I was discussing this uh, with. Okay. There's the 15th, there's the 16th. Just to make a quick point, 
The 16th was not the absolute low. The 17th was the low, okay? So on June 16th, we were facing lows. Mark McDonald up 190% for the year. Carla up 30%. I even put through this one in here from Timothy. He's down $1,000 since he joined Theotrade, but he would have been down a lot more had he didn't join. Hopefully he'll learn to actually make money. I think that stuff is critical. And again, I literally, RJ, best year ever, up 10%, okay? Way ahead of last year. Everybody is doing phenomenally and they're not trading, okay? A lot of bias out here. Okay, let's get down to trading. Probability and profitability. Your trading is based on probability. It doesn't matter what you think again about, you know, your MACDs and Fibonacci's. I wanna be a little bit of an anti-chartite for a moment. What I want you to understand is that I can build trades all day that have a 90% probability, meaning that the trade will be right 90% of the time. Does that sound good, right? And I'm trying to lead you into something here, like 90%, because people advertise, again, when I say people, there's a lot of educators that advertise, come with me, I will make you right 90% of the time. My argument is, well, that, that's great, but First thing I think, what's going to happen to me the other 10% of the time? <laughs> the answer is, don't worry, you'll find out. Probability sounds good, but it's not going to be the end all be all. Probability alone does not make you money. I don't care if somebody says you're going to be right 95% of the time. People, you could be right 99% of the time. But if the 1% of the time you're wrong, it'll decimate you. Then what is it? What's it all good for? This business is not just about probability. It's not just about probability. The business, okay, is about cash flow. The business is about inventory. The business is about running as much capital as you can, okay? If you have $2,000, you got to get that two grand working. You got to get it working to maximize returns. In the end, I don't care that you're right 90% of the time. What do I really care about? That your PL is positive. You're like, who cares? My track record. Me, right, 90%, okay? This is not about ego. This is about profitability. This is a business, okay? Got to check the ego at the door. Probability alone does not make you profitable. You have to remember that because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you right now, everything that you see out there is like, follow my system. We're going to be right more than we're going to be wrong. Markets are a trade-off, all right? Higher probability is higher risk. Right 90% of the time, still lose money. So where can you find edge? And that's exactly what we're going to discuss right here, right now. So let's jump into it, okay? We're going to discover a little bit about probability and premium selling tactics. Now, I'm going to run through a lot in the next 10 to 15 minutes. If you are new to trading options, who's new? Just say yes if I'm new. Who here has absolutely no options experience? Just a why for yes. Come on, people, admitting it is the first step today. So who's brand new? Never traded an option. It's like dead silent, <clears throat> okay? Not only is admitting it the first step, this is, a, this, is, this is a game where we have to actually get involved. All right. <clears throat> Interestingly enough, looks like most people have, okay? a great deal of experience in here. So I won't spend a huge amount of time in this, right? I'm gonna start with some novice, okay? And work my way into the extreme. First of all, here we have a stock, stock. It's trading at hundred, all right? By the way, I call every stock, stock. Why do I call it stock? I don't know, I'm strange. Um, so this is stock trading at hundred. Do we own the stock? No. Do we wanna own the stock? No. Why do we not want to own the stock? Because there's risk. There's a lot of risk in the stock. I mean, affectionately, you can say it's a $100 stock and that thing has one bad day. It can be a, a $90 stock. You go, oh, no way, man. That's a big move. A 10% move inside of one day in a stock. You don't have to look too far today to see even oil. <laughs> like, look at the move in oil today. Just to proof, like, you know, proofs in the pudding over here. Even oil is getting decimated. I mean, that's they say almost an 8% move inside of oil today. Like the, the risk is phenomenal, just phenomenal with this entire marketplace. So rather than trade the stock, we're going to trade an option. And to begin with, I just, I just want to throw this out here. We're going to look all 
the way out here in the nosebleed seats, and we're going to look at what is termed, okay, a 120 call. And the 120 call is going to be trading for exactly $1, okay? Now, first, I'm actually going to discuss buying it. Then I'll talk about selling it. So options. So some of you have absolutely no experience with options. The first thing you learn about options, options are good for a set period of time. We're going to make this option good for three months. We're going to give yourself plenty of time. Why do you need plenty of time? Plenty of time to be right. Plenty of time to be wrong. We're going to laugh. We're going to cry. <coughs> but we're going to buy a 120 call. and We're going to pay exactly $1. Now, for those of you that are brand new to this, what's a 120 call? So for those of you that have absolutely no idea about options, first, I do not own the stock. I'm just buying a 120 call. Why? I must be wildly bullish because if you buy a 120 call, Buyers have rights, sellers have obligations. If I buy a 120 call, buy the 120 call, that means I want the right to buy the stock at 120. Now, do I really want to buy the stock at 120? No, I don't really want to buy the stock at 120. So why do you buy the 120 call? I want to buy the 120 call in the hopes the stock goes soaring higher. If the stock goes soaring higher, I buy the call and then the stock shoots to, to 130, okay? And if the stock shoots to 130, let's just you know fantasize for a second. Now the stock's at 130. So the stock goes from 100 up to 130. What's a 120 call worth? With the 120 call worth, you have the right to buy the stock at 120. Everybody else in the world has to pay 130 for it. If you could buy the stock at 120, you could buy the stock at 120, sell it in the open market at 130, and you would make at least $10. Of course, minus the dollar you paid for the little monkey, so you'd be up nine bucks. <sighs> Make sense? But, okay, backtrack, 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 backtrack. We're going back in time, okay? What's more likely to happen over the next three months? Well, you have a $100 stock. This is your stock. What does your stock do? If you buy a call and you're wildly bullish, what does your stock do? Your stock immediately goes down. So if your stock goes down, you lose a dollar. If your stock stays flat, you lose a dollar. Even if your stock goes up, let's say your stock goes to 115, you're like, yeah, I'm going to be somebody. Yeah, you're still going to lose a dollar. So where do you make money? Uh, we well, have to get above 120 for this to even get interesting. But you have 121 for a break even point. Does that make sense? Buyers have rights. You have the right to buy the stock at 120. But you have to have respect for this trade. What's the respect for the trade? Stock's trading at 100. 120 is a big distance, okay? Am I wrong on that? 120 is a big, big distance. I mean, <clears throat> you need that stock to fly to the amount of $20, which is also known as 20% inside of the next three months just to be able to make a couple of bucks, okay? Is that reasonable? Is it feasible? It's plausible. It could happen. But probability is hideous of that. Probability of you making money in there, I don't know, <clears throat> it might be three, four, maybe 5%. You're like, how could you possibly know that? Well, we do. And we're going to talk a little bit about probability in a moment. But before I talk about probability, okay, we're actually going to talk about the opposing trade. So I'm going to pull up the exact same option, but this time I'm going to look okay, at selling the 120 call. And we're going to sell that call and we're going to collect a $1 credit. I'm going to put it down here. So I'm going to sell a 120 call. And for that 120 call, I'm going to collect exactly a $1 credit. All right. This one, again, it's good for three months. I can write month. It's good for three months of time. Okay. Now that three months is really going to bother somebody, but it's okay. Right. So we go out and we sell a 120 call. We collect a one dollar credit. Now, time out. Some people go, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. I know I can buy a call because buying a call gives me the right to buy the stock at one twenty. But how can I sell a call? I never owned a call. I don't remember owning a call. So in options, you can open a trade by being a buyer, and in options, you can open a trade by being a seller. When I say open a trade, you can initiate a position as a buyer. You can also, <laughs> excuse me initiate trades by being sellers. So what does the selling do? The sale of an option then obligates you, okay, to do what? To give somebody your stock at 120. Do I have any stock? Uh-uh. I am selling a 120 call. This is what they term selling naked. Now, this is where everybody freaks out and they go, what about margin? 
what about risk? Put all those aside for a second. One thing, okay, I implore you to understand, margin is no longer an issue. Margin's not an issue. You go, what? What are you talking about? There's no day trading rule if you know what you're doing. There's no margin issue if you know what you're doing, okay? Margin and day trading rules, they've been a thing of the past for years. People go, well, I didn't know that. People talk about it in the Facebook forum, okay? Those people did not have 15 years in the brokerage side of the business, right? You got to understand margin. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we'll take care of it. I'll show you that here momentarily. All I want you to understand right now is the concept. I can sell a 120 call. No, I do not own the stock. I don't own the stock, but it's selling a 120 call obligates me to give somebody stock at 120. What happens if you don't have any stock? You could actually lose money, but let's take you through a scenario here. If the stock stays flat, I keep my dollar. If the stock goes anywhere down, I keep a dollar. Now it's three months, which is a lot of time. If the stock goes up to like 115, I still keep my dollar. Even if the stock goes to 120, I keep my dollar. I might wet myself, but I keep my dollar. This stock would have to soar to like 130-ish. It soars to 130, you're gonna take some pain because you are affectionately short stock at 120 with the stock trading, okay, at 130. So if you have to give somebody stock at 120, you go, but I don't own any stock, okay? but I don't want to be a pirate. But if you actually are uh, obligated to give, give somebody stock at 120, but you don't own any stock, you'd have to go out and buy the stock at 130 to give them stock at 120. Go, I can't do that. I don't have the capital. You don't have to have the capital in your account. Okay. The risk in here would just basically be 10 bucks. All I want you to understand though is, okay, two premises here, two premises. Ready? Number one, the chances of getting to 120 are very minute. That this, the chances of actually losing money, okay, are probably close to 5% in this trade. I'll cover that 5% in a moment. Number two, Think about even if the trade does go against you of all the time in the world to get out of it, we'll cover the risk. I don't want you to worry about risk. I don't want you to worry about margin right now. We have to understand. We have to understand how the options trade, okay? Before I go any further, now we're gonna go into a live trading application. So one of the things and one of the reasons I do this during the trading session is it's dynamic. When I say it's dynamic, like, look, you get to actually see prices, right? By the way, for those of you that know what an inversion of the yield curve is, this is a trade. This is the two-year against the 10-year, all right? You can see the exact P&L. That's only one tiny little contract, and it's still up hundreds and hundreds of dollars, right? Because I was betting on the idea of a recession and a yield curve inversion. And most people go, I had no idea you can do that. Of course you can, it's par for the course here, all right? So we're gonna go into a product called the spiders. And the reason I'm gonna use the spiders, listen to me, the spiders is like the most marquee product of all marquee products. I'm gonna go all the way out to the October expiration. And I wanna highlight a few things for you, okay? On Tastyworks, right here in the middle, let me, uh, let me really bold this out right here. See that where it says 110? Okay, I just deleted it. <laughs> I covered it. You see where it says 110 right there? It's days left to expiration. Everything, okay, on this side of the screen, these are calls. Everything on this side of the screen is puts. Pretty cool, right? All right, so this is strike price listed down the middle. All I'm gonna do is do the exact same example I did a moment ago. And I'm just gonna do it with calls. And why am I gonna do it with calls? Because people get confused with puts. So bear with me, I'm actually gonna shop. Shopping, okay? I'm gonna shop for this right now. And we're gonna come all the way up here. Let's get crazy. The way all I'm doing right now is trying to find an option. To be quite frank with you, I'm trying to find an option right at a dollar, okay? And we're gonna look at this 101, the 101 is the days to expiration. This is an October option. It's just over three months out, okay? If I were to sell this option, <coughs> what would I sell it for? Well, the market right now is basically right around 98 cents. So we can round it to a dollar. Just bear with me for a second. I'm gonna write this up here so that 
each and every one of you can see it, okay, no matter what. We're going to go out, and I'm going to keep tabs right up here. We're going to go out, and we're going to sell a what? It's in the spiders. We're going to sell a 449 call, okay? That call is for what month? It's the October expiration. We're going to sell a 449 call, and for that, we're going to collect exactly a $1 credit. Everybody good? 449 call. So the 449 call, we go out, we sell the 449 call. Then we go do, we have to sit there for 101 days. You go, seriously, man, I have to wait 101 days to make a dollar. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Really? First and foremost, what do we really care about in here? Okay. What do we really care about? Hmm? Anybody, anybody? Just care about making money, right? because I sold an option 101 days out doesn't mean I need to hold it 101 days. Let's say that I held this option for the next 30 days. Okay. What I'm going to do is all, all I'm going to show you right now, this is an October option. What would that October option look like exactly 35 days from now? So if I were like all factors being held equal, because people always say this about options, they go, Options are not going to decay very good because you have too much time. <laughs> this is what Ultima is about, okay? Sorry, I, I get bored over here and, you know, I get a little crazy. That and uh, just keep pouring more caffeine down over here. But like, options don't decay. You got too much time, Don. You're 101 days out. When, when people hear the term Ultima, they think it means ultimate, but it, it doesn't. Ultima means the volatility, the volatility, the volatility. So the volatility is like the VIX. And the VIX of the VIX is the VVIX. And then there's actually what we term Ultima, which is kind of the VIX of the VIX of the VIX. <laughs> anyway, the Ultima of 101 day options right now, they're phenomenal. So what I'm gonna show you is, here's a 101 day option out in October, it's trading for a buck. And like, literally it's trading for right around a dollar. I'm gonna assume all factors being held equal. I'm not, I'm going to say the market stays flat. I know the market's not going to stay flat, but let's say the market stays flat for the next 35 days. I'm going to open up the 600, sorry, 600. I'm going to open up the 66 day expiration and I'm going to look precisely at the 449 calls. Here they are. Okay. Exactly 35 days from now. Okay. Here's the four. Okay. 449. I'm going to, again, this is exactly 35 days from now. I'm gonna buy the 449 call. What's it gonna be trading for? And I'm gonna pay approximately, let's call it, I'm, even, I'm gonna get crazy. I know it's trading for 31, but let's include commissions and everything. Say it's trading for 35 cents and that's a debit. What do I actually make in the trade? Okay, 65 cents or 65%, 65% for what? Well, I don't know, for 35 days. Why are people selling short dated options? Because they do not understand this business. This business has changed. Ultima has changed. And what you're looking at right now is a great revenue stream with taking very nominal risk. I'm not asking you to hold 101 days. You're insane if you hold 101 days. Why would we ever consider doing that? How about we get in, we get out, we make between 50 and 60% on an option that's so far away from the underlying price. This is almost the 450. Almost the 450, where are the spiders trading right now? Oh, they're at 384. Do you understand? Do you understand how far back the spiders are gonna have to go? Let's actually, let's bring up a chart, okay? Have the spiders gotten to 450 anytime recently? And the answer is the last time the spiders were there was actually back in April. So it's possible, it's plausible, let's get crazy. They could get back to 450 but it is so far away. This is like sitting in the nosebleed section, right? Is everybody okay? Because people, they look at this for the first time and they go, well, that's interesting, okay? It is interesting, but can it be done in anything other than the spiders? Absolutely, right? But now before I show you another example, and I'm gonna show you a multitude of examples. There's no, there's no trick, there's no nothing. Listen, you just have to understand right now that the best premium that you can plausibly sell 
is not short dated options. Everybody knows that short dated options rapidly decay. But if you can receive 50% of the decay and take none of the short duration risk, why would you do anything but? Why would anyone in their right mind? Because they do not know. It's one of the reasons that Tastyworks partnered with us. By the way, we have a partnership agreement with TD Ameritrade, which is now Charles Schwab. We have a partnership agreement with Tastyworks. We have a partnership agreement with Tradier. We have a partnership agreement with E-Trade. We're actually even discussing with Robinhood because very close friend works with Robinhood. We have partnership with the small exchange. You can even look it up. All right. You can go Theo Trade Small Exchange and you'll see press releases on it. No one, okay has the pull that we do because the clientele here at Theotrade, okay, what they're doing works. Everybody wants clients right now that can survive a bearish market. Everybody wants clients that understand that volatility isn't a negative, it's a positive. Firms that understand volatility, firms that come from a background of trading, right? Not a bunch of like, you know, tech geeks and marketing people, Firms that understand trading want Theotrade clientele. They want Theotrade clientele because we examine stuff like this and we say, you never want to sell short dated premium. You'll get killed out there. There's so much more volatility back here. Okay. It's a wonderful world. And again, I emphasize that. Now, so before I go further, people always say, well, why sell options so far out in time? Okay. Typically, traders sell short dated options, but that's why you're tuning into this webcast. Okay. Criteria is what we do here at Theotrade. Anybody can learn to sell an option. Anybody can. You can watch a couple of 10 minute videos on selling options. What you do not understand about selling options is the right option to sell. How far out in time do you go? What delta do you use? Delta, by the way, is probability. You know, I was talking a little bit earlier. Now I'm going to deviate for a second. I'll even use the Thinkorswim platform for a moment. I'll go to the spiders and I'll talk a bit about uh, probability. And again, I like to go back and forth because it's important to know that the option chains that you see are interchangeable. So I come over here to think or swim and there's, there's a calculation over here called probability out of the money. You know what probability out of the money is? Okay, and I'll pull up probability out of the money. I'll pull up like Delta over here. This is the probability, okay, of you making one penny or more in a trade. So we were talking about those 449s did you know that the 449s, and again, I'm just going to highlight this. There you go. They have a 95% probability of making money. That's the same 449 that we just looked at a moment ago, okay, on Tastyworks. I just want you guys to understand that there's no, there's no difference. Like, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not familiar with Tastyworks, okay? I say there's no difference, all right? So there's Delta. Well, let's, let's take a quick glance here. Oh, look at this, out of the money percent. You know what that is? It's called probability out of the money. Let's go right back to those 449s. Lo and behold, check this out. There's a slightly different probability model. 96% probability of making money on this. Okay, I wanted to show you probability models. They're essential. You now know you can do a trade that has a 95 or 96% probability. And again, the probabilities are the same pretty much on Tastyworks as they are on, on Thinkorswim. It's the same exact equations on there. But this stuff, it's essential. It's essential that we understand. So you can have a 95% chance of making money. And I'll tell you what, you're not even trying to make, you are not trying to make the full dollar. You're trying to make like 60, 65 cents. And you look at the, oh man, it's only 65 cents. I could do 10 contracts. That's 650 bucks. I could do a hundred contracts. That's $6,500. And, and you go, that's a, a hundred contracts, a lot of commissions. Good, then use the SPX. It's 10 contracts. Okay, there's always a way around it. I mean, people come up with more excuses than they do the reality of trade. The criteria is what we do. Let's actually deviate for one more second back over here and show proofs in the pudding. Let's go to the QQQ. So I go to the NASDAQ and in the NASDAQ, can I do the same thing? Look, I'm gonna use the exact same type of option 101 days out and I'm gonna cruise immediately, okay? To my trusty little dollar option. I know this one's not perfectly at a dollar, but look, it's the 355s. Let me write it up here. If I were to sell the 355 call, the S stands for sell. I sell 355 call. Let's say we sell it for 95 cents. We sell it for 95 cents. 
what would that 355 call be trading at dun, da, 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 exactly 35 days later? And the answer is, let's go right back to the 355, 355, 355. Whoops, there, there it is. It's trading for 34 cents. Okay, buy it back for about 34 cents. So here we go. Buy it back for about, uh, I'll even put it 35 cents. What do you got? Still a phenomenal return. You're talking like, you know, about 50, 60%. Every time we want to get between a 50, okay, to 60%. Why? Because if you can make 50 or 60% in 35 days without, ex you know, expansive risk, why wouldn't you do it? And you can make more than that, but why wouldn't you do it? And again, most people are going to make an excuse. I don't have the margin to do that. Yes, you do. Okay. Yes, you do. You guys want to see how to get the margin? Anybody? Anybody? You're interested to learn how to circumnavigate margin because I'll, I'll keep going all day. All right. I know I'm about, you know, 50 minutes into this. So I want to make sure everybody's on the same page. <clears throat> Only one person wants to learn. Okay. So if you want to learn how to circumnavigate margin, hmm. water, caffeine, they're good mix. Water, caffeine. Have to have the mix perfect. All right. So, um, by the way, somebody says, "Why do you keep saying 35 days out okay, when the buy side is 66 days out?" Okay, uh, I'm actually going to answer that question while we're live over here. I'm initiating the trade with 101 days. I'm closing the trade when there's 66 days left. Therefore, I am only holding the position for 35 days. I'm holding the position from approximately 100 days to 66 days. Does that make sense? So the difference is about 35 days. So generally speaking, if you understand how Ultima works, Ultima can work in a 30-day window that you can actually sell an option, <clears throat> hold it for 30 days, and appreciate about a 50% gain. That's not assuming like stock price movement. If the market moves up, if the market moves down, we compensate for that. And I'll show you how to compensate for that. I just wanted to make sure, uh, Izzy, that you got that one. Because again, I don't mind reading the, uh, the questions over here. And uh, Bruce was asking about risk. We're getting there, Bruce. We're getting there. So I wanted to talk a little bit about margin because margin's a big deal. Because if you went out and you sold naked, first of all, what everybody always says about this is they go, I can't sell naked. Okay, why? Listen, me and think or swim. TD Ameritrade, which is now Charles Schwab, okay? Me and Thinkorswim, we go back a long, long ways, okay? Long ways. I mean, I was part of Thinkorswim all the way back to 2000, 2001. I was full-time there by 2001. So me and Thinkorswim know each other well. There's a lot of features in Thinkorswim I helped build, okay? The platform, hey, it's been wonderful. The platform has also passed its prime. And, and I don't say that, that's not an easy thing for me to say but it's past its prime, okay? This to me looks like, you know, DOS 2.0 versus, you know, like Tastyworks. But there's an issue, a bigger issue at TD Ameritrade. TD Ameritrade is now owned by Charles Schwab. They're an extraordinarily conservative firm. I don't say that to be negative. Some firms like to be conservative. And Charles Schwab will tell you, you want to sell naked? Put $100,000 in your account. I look at that and I go, that's ridiculous. I mean, I ran education of this firm. I ran education for TD Ameritrade. And I am telling you, it is ridiculous. I do not like that there's like level one option clearance, level two option clearance. How many people have heard this stuff? Level three option clearance, level four. And level four lets you do everything. Forgive me for saying this but it's your freaking money. You do what you want with your money. If your bank, if you went to your bank and said, this is what I want to do, baby, okay? I'm going to go out and I'm going to take out 30 grand and I'm going to buy whatever the hell I want. You think the bank would go in there and go, ah, you're not level four clear. Sir, I'm telling you, don't do it, okay? It's wrong. It's your capital. You do what you want. And again, if you understand risk management, this is not going to be high risk. This is not going to be high risk. We're going to cover the risk in a second. How about you can go out and do anything you want with $2,000. But if you want to do it with $2,000, it's why we actually promote Tastyworks. Tastyworks, there's no levels of clearance. 
There's no levels of clearance. Options categories, one, two, three, four. Let me tell you something about option approval. You wanna know something about option approval? It doesn't exist. It's made up by the brokerage firms. Why do they make it up? To control their risk, not your risk. They don't want you, okay, to do anything. They just want your money and they go, bring money. That's why they say like, oh, you wanna do that? Bring a hundred grand. Makes sense, doesn't it? The more money of yours that they have, the more money they yield on the spread. The spread's the differential between what they pay you, which is nothing, and what the uh, risk-free interest rate is. What's risk-free interest rate right now? Well, if you look at Fed Fund futures, it's getting up there. So they're able to make money. So first and foremost, you open up a Tasty Works account, you do what's called the works, and uh, you don't have any restrictions in what you can do. And you go, but it's still going to tie up too much money. I can't do this in there. There's a new product called the MES. What's the MES? It's the micro S&P options and futures. Now, time out. A lot of people go, first he's talking about options, then he's talking about options on futures. Options on futures are the same thing as trading spiders. Like, just, just wait for a second. Wait for a second. If you look at the spiders, the spy is trading at what? 38, okay, four. All right, so 384, 384 here. Let's, let's even put it over a decimal place over there, 34. See this little monkey right here? It's the same thing. They just moved the decimal place over a little bit. Yes, it'll be slightly different in price because there's what they call cost of carry built into here. But this is just a $3,857 product. So if you put the decimal place, you know, one over or two over, like you get it. So this, you're like, oh, it's 10 times the size. On the contrary. This product, the MES, this MES is exactly half of an SPY contract. Incredible. You know what they tie up in terms of margin? Next to nothing. Allow me to show you, okay? We're gonna go out just like I, uh, you know, I prefaced a moment ago. And look, you can see I've got an option in here, but let's go out and let's sell this option. Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sell a 4,400 strike call. Okay. Which is the same thing as like, you know, earlier I sold what a 449. Well, this is the same thing as the 440s, but this is 4,000. Watch when I hit review and send. This is in a SEP IRA. Okay. This is in a SEP IRA. You go, but, 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 but I don't want to be a pirate. Um, this one trade, it will tie up $1,100 of margin, but wait, there's more that's in an IRA. So see, people go, you can't sell naked in an IRA. I disagree. You absolutely can. The rules have changed. Two years ago, they changed the rules. None of the brokerage firms updated their rules. Tasty did. Okay. Here's the other crazy thing. In a regular margin account, this trade will tie up half the margin. This is only $600 a margin. You can't do anything for $600 a margin. Now you can sell naked option premium for $600 a margin because Tasty Works actually understands there's nominal risk in this trade. Okay. There's nominal risk. It's a beautiful world. So we're circumnavigating basically the restrictions by using the right product. I say the right product. When I say that, I mean trading the options in the futures contract. You go, that's not big enough. You want a big trade? Let me tell you what a big trade is. Let's go into the S&P options and futures. This is the big brother. This is 10 times the size of the micro. Now this might elude a few people, but if you wanted to really learn this stuff, okay, it takes a few minutes to learn about these different products right? So here's the 449s. These are the exact ones I was talking about. Watch when I hit this, okay? This is in a SEP IRA. It's in a SEP IRA and somebody goes, oh my gosh, look how much margin it's going to tie up. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's only tying up $10,000. That's in an IRA. This trade would only tie up $5,000 in a regular margin account. I got news for you. This, this is a big boy trade. This is a very big trade. What do you mean it's a big trade? This isn't the full S&P options and futures, okay? Welcome to the big leads. And that's how you circumnavigate margin. There's no day trading restriction either in these products. You can trade in and out of them. They're not regulated by FINRA and the SEC. They're regulated by the NFA, National Futures Association and the CFTC, just so we're all clear, okay? Because people always like to, you know, they go in and they look at the regulations and check the rules and so forth. 
I've had every brokerage license pretty much imaginable. I've had my series three, which is actually principal and futures contracts. I've had my series four, which is a principal in options. I've had my series seven, which is just a standard broker dealer. I've had my series 24, which is actually a principal broker dealer. I had 768 people under my series 24. And to ice the cake, I had a 66, which is a 63 and a 65 combined, which is a registered investment advisor. And I've managed as much as $400 million. And I say that because if there's a rule in this business, okay, I know it. Like that's, it's like one of the areas uh, I, I like that stuff. I don't know. I used to read like FINRA guidelines and I'm like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever, I've ever read. Well, how do I circumnavigate it? Ran education for 7 million people. You know, those are the things that interest me. And this is the kind of stuff where frankly, TD Ameritrade wouldn't let us talk about it. They said, oh, that's great. You learned how to circumnavigate dirty trading margin rules. Don't you dare talk about it. The attorneys will be all over us. I don't like it. Now I get to talk about it. Why? Because I'm Theo Trade. I don't have like an attorney to report to anymore. It's, uh, and it's important that you guys know that. This is in your best interest. Now I'm going to show you how to mitigate the risk. We okay? Everybody okay? Okay to go? Okay to go. It's getting interesting now, huh? So you don't have to worry about the amount of margin. You sell an option a little further out in time. We got to talk about risk because 90% sounds juicy, but 10% of the time, the market rips your face off. But you got to understand about high probability. High probability kind of lures you in. How many people here have ever sold an iron condor? Hmm? Admitting is the first step. Yes, Y for yes, N for no. Have you ever sold an iron condor? Anybody? For those of you that have absolutely, if you have no clue what an iron condor is, I'm going to show you what an iron condor is. All right. Let me just blank a screen really quick here. What an iron condor is, okay? What an iron condor is, is uh, the iron condor. It sounds exciting, but uh, what an iron condor breaks down. Sorry, I was looking, looking for the, uh, the pen. I had the wrong pen and was gonna write on the screen. Things get weird when I start using the wrong pen to write on the screen. This is the market and say the market's 380, okay? You sell a call, you buy a call. You sell a put, you buy a put. So if the market stays here or here, if the market stays anywhere in this range, you make money, right? So the market stays in the distribution range. You go, okay. So people go out there and they put on these trades called iron condors. Iron condors very often have upwards of a 90% probability. And people seem to think it's like free money. So you go out there, you pay $500, take a class. And you pay that 500 bucks, and you go to the class and they teach you an iron condor. And what does the iron condor look like? It looks just like that mess, right? So when you put the iron condor on, and again, I love drawing this stuff up. It's, it's fun stuff. You put the iron condor on. All you want the iron condor to do is stay in that range. Because if it cracks outside the range, you have a hedge. But if it cracks outside the range, it's going to be pain. Because for selling this iron condor, you collected a dollar. How much risk is in the iron condor? Nine. So you're collecting a dollar you can lose nine, right? So this is the risk. This is the reward. Risk, reward, risk, reward. But the trade has a 90% probability. And somebody sold you on the idea, you're always gonna be right, so don't worry about it. So you go out and take this class for 500 bucks and learn to do an iron condor. The first time you do the iron condor, hot damn, the thing works. You went out and did an iron condor and you actually used a product called the spiders. Did the iron condor and everything works swimmingly? Of course it works swimmingly. The trade is a 90% probability. Did that ever occur to you? So the next time you go out and do the iron condor, the first time you did it in the spy and did one contract. The next time you do the iron condor in the spy, you do five contracts in spy and you go, yeah, it worked again. So this one, you made a dollar. This one, you made a dollar. The next time you go out, you did a one lot, but now you're actually trading a contract called the SPX because the SPX is the mother of all products. So a one lot in the SPX, is the same thing as a 10 lot in the spiders. So you're just gradually increasing. And, and again, here, what we have is you made money. Why? So you made, okay, a dollar now and here. So you made a buck, made a buck, made a buck, made a buck, made a buck. And all of a sudden you go out and you do 10 contracts and you do it in the SPX and the market goes, we got one. And the second you put on the 10 lot, what happens? The market actually explodes lower, you're dead. 
you end up losing nine, but you lose nine with 10 contracts in the SPX and half your account's gone and you're ah, ah, just sobbing, it's awesome. Um, and you look at this and you go, holy crap, it's a train wreck. Your losses, just they just wipe out half your account. I've seen entire accounts get wiped out like this and people always go like, holy crap, it's like you, you can see my account. Where do you think I did learn this from? I got to look at your account. 15 years I looked at your account. I've seen it all before. Like, like newsflash, you're not going to tell me anything <laughs> that's happened in options that I haven't seen. You have to remember, like in the options market, there's a call and there's a put. You can buy it and you can sell it. <clears throat> so I had an uncle that was a market maker all the way back in the 1970s. And when I got involved in the business in the late 90s, okay, I I'm just going to throw this out here, okay? I'm, you know, maybe a few fries short of a happy meal, but when it comes to options, like I'm a duck in water because I grew up around it. And I remember in the late 90s, I was like, oh, I came up with a new strategy and I will never forget. Never forget. My uncle like sat me down. He's like, kid, I've been doing this since 76. He goes, what are you going to think of that hasn't been done since 1976? And then he looks at me, he goes, what year were, were you born? He asked me like, what year were you born? I go, I was, I was, I was born in 76. And he goes, exactly. Uh, there's a call, there's a put, you could buy it and sell it. He goes, don't make this business any harder. Do what you're told and you will make money. <laughs> and that was like one of the most insightful things. I'm like, okay. And they said that in the first couple of weeks of me trading. So again, <clears throat> it's 90% probability and 10% hammer. So what's the point over here? You have to learn how to do what? You have to learn, okay, how to control risk. And this is where people go, oh, 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 I'll use a stop order. No, you won't. You're going to wake up in the middle of the night one day and all of a sudden crash and burn. I got a new one for you. CPI comes out tomorrow morning. What's CPI? Confum confuser. Consumer inflation. If you have enough caffeine, the mouth and brain will move faster, okay? Or the brain will move faster than the mouth. Anyway, consumer inflation comes out tomorrow. Let's say it hits like 11%. The market's going to puke its guts out before it ever opens. You're done. You will never, like you stop orders, get out of the business. And I'm dead serious about that. Did you know that the New York Stock Exchange banned stop orders in 2012? And you go, but I still use them. TD Ameritrade has them. And of course they have them. They still build them, but they're internally building them. But the exchanges said, no, don't use a stop order because we don't want to be held liable for that kind of junk. You have to learn how to mitigate risk. So then you pay $500 to take this class and you learn how to do an iron condor and then you lose half your account. And then you go, I can fix it. I know I can fix it. So you take another class for another 500 bucks and somebody says, you can fix a trade. Now I'm a total cynic. You can't fix anything because if you take a trade and you fix it, when I say fix it, what are you really doing? You're taking more good capital and throwing it into a losing position. You, people like think about it for a second. I'm serious. Think about it. Okay. Hmm? Anybody? Okay. I like this. I was crushing the call side of an iron condor. Too much size. Don't tell my grandchildren. Okay. It's, um, <laughs> uh, I've seen it all before, by the way, by the way, if it was in 2012, I got to see it from the other side of the screen. I didn't leave TD till I was, you know, 2015, but people try to fix trades and they go, it's, it's a fix. It's not adding more money to a losing trade. It's a fix. I go, you can call it whatever you want. I actually saw this one course, it was called, we're not fixing a trade, we're morphing it. I go, oh, it's an amalgamation of crap. Okay, it's all the same thing. Listen, some fixes might work, but the very notion of fixing a trade, it's more good capital into an already losing position. So the first thing you learn in this business, the first thing you learn in this business, do not do stupid things, like throw more money into an already losing proposition. You have to throw trades out like yesterday's trash. Okay, take a car, drive it off a cliff, and then bring it to a body shop. Hopefully you're not in the car. Take a car, drive it off a cliff, and bring it to a body shop. What are they going to tell you? Like, that car's a piece of crap. It's gone. It's done. What it, what, I'm going to tell you the exact same thing about your trade. There's no way to fix, okay, a train wreck. There's no way to fix it. What are you going to do? You can clean up the mess, okay, but that's it. And you got to think about it that way. This, the idea of a losing trade is a train wreck. You don't go out there and try to chase you know, unicorns and try to fix things. You have to learn how to do this correctly. What we're going to talk about now is position structure. What position structure amounts to, by the way, this is, if you're paying attention right now, right now, pay attention. 
This is the most critical juncture in what we do here at Theotrade, okay? I am the first person to tell you, and I am very, I am, I'm emphatic about how you sell premium, okay? I'm emphatic because it doesn't do, it doesn't do me any good for you to lose money ever. And I really mean that. <laughs> one of the reasons we send out trade alerts. I don't know one of the reasons, by the way, we send out trade alerts. Here's one of the portfolios, okay? Here's the other portfolio is over here on Thinkorswim. I keep them separate, okay? Here's a yet another portfolio, a spread tracker. Like we keep different portfolios and we do that because we want you to be able to follow the trades. We want success in every single client, all right? If we don't have success with clientele, Tastyworks, they don't want the accounts. They don't want people that lose money. They don't just want an account for having an account. They want people that, okay, that are gonna survive, okay? It's about longevity. This is, this is not fidelity that just wants your money under management, okay? This is Tastyworks. They don't make that kind of money on yield. They only make money if you're trading. So it's, it's imperative that you guys understand that. We're gonna look at the spiders. I'm actually gonna say the spiders are trading about 380, okay? And I'm just, I'm just gonna make a quick point over here. So let's go out and let's build a position. The SPY, SPY is trading at 380. Do I own the spiders? No. Do I want to own the spiders? No, not really. We're going to go out and we're going to sell a 450 call. And we're going to collect a dollar. With me? Simultaneously. That means at the same time, we're going to sell a 290 put. Guess what? In the put, we're going to collect two bucks. And you go, you collect more on the puts? Yeah. You want to see? Okay. Let's take a look. Let's look at the 290 puts. I know I've written on the screen. Like, don't write on my screen, man. Um, let's go look at those puts. What are the 290 puts trading for? 290, 290, 290, 290. Oh, he hits it right on. Look at that. The 290 puts. Do you see where they're trading? They're trading for $2. Two bucks, two bucks, two bucks, two bucks. It's like I've done this before. All right. By the way, I come from the era before computers in 1998 when I started trading. We actually had to learn how to do things by hand. Generally speaking, my generation, mid 40s now, but my generation without spell check and without a calculator, they're worthless. Can you imagine the next generation? It's even worse. There's one thing I do. I have, uh, I have three kids that are starting to get into, uh, they're still single digits. One of, them, one of them is double digits, but my kids know fractions, <laughs> okay? My kids know what a 16th is, a 16th plus an eighth. They could do it like that. Why? Because I had to learn it in the 90s because I first traded in fractions. So I have a kid that calls a 16th a teeny, okay? His, his teachers have no idea what he's talking about and he's seven years old, but it's a completely different story. All right, let's preface this. If you went out and sold a put, okay, right here, and you sold a call, time out! What's eventually going to happen to you? I want to know what's eventually going to happen to you. Anybody, anybody, anybody? Okay. Anyway, I like what Bob said in here. He said, my biggest losses were from fixing trades. It's true. It's always going to be true. By the way, I studied that stuff upwards, downwards, sideways. We had an entire actuary group that used to work with TD Ameritrade. You ask a question like to them, like what happens when people fix trades? But seriously, what's eventually going to happen to you? You do not own the spiders. You're selling naked here and you're selling naked here. It's an inevitability. What's the inevitability? Sooner or later, the market's going to go up huge or down huge. And when it does, you're done. You're toast. So what you have to learn in this business, okay, what's so essential to learn is that you are going to need, all right, a hedge. What's a hedge? A hedge might be like a trade in, for instance, VIX. And we're going to talk about hedging in a moment. What's a VIX trade? How many people here are familiar with VIX? You familiar with VIX? Me, 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 me. You can just put me, me, okay? Yes, I'm familiar with VIX. No, I'm not familiar with VIX. VIX is the S&P 500 volatility index. If the market goes down, the VIX goes where? Soaring higher. What if we were to place a tiny little trade right here. But we're going to place the trade not on the S&Ps. We're going to place the trade in VIX. And if the marketplace crashes and burns, the VIX trade is going to expand in price and cover us. Small price to pay. Okay? Small price to pay. We are not 
going to go out. And again, the SPY, I'm going to take you through one more. It's trading at 380. We're not going to go out and just put on, for instance, what did I talk about? The 450 call and then the, the 290 puts. We're going to go out and do the 280 puts. We're going to do 290 puts. We're going to do the 300 puts. We're going to do the, the 460 calls. We're going to do the 440 calls. People, this is what we call inventory. You really want to learn to do this and do this properly. I'm not saying you have to, oh, you have to trade a lot, okay? No brokerage firm cares whether you place one big trade or like five little trades. Five little trades, though, is much smarter. In this case, there's six trades. Those six trades, though, were inventory. What you want to learn to do in this business is be like the Amazon of selling options premium. It's Prime Day. You better not be looking at Prime deals right now, okay? I'll be very disappointed if you're looking at Prime deals. But I love to make the analogy. What is Amazon's model for selling stuff, okay? They sell stuff. Okay, they have razor thin margins, but they churn inventory as fast as they possibly can. The more inventory they go through, the more profitability they have. That is not unlike options trading. Okay, the key over here is this, right? We need to churn inventory. Every time we make 50% on either side of these, close the trade, more inventory, close the trade, more inventory. All we're doing is just cycling through inventory. Okay, you have a finite amount of capital. Let's say you have $5,000 in an account. That finite amount of capital you need to use and maximize so you can actually churn through inventory. But you got to remember, you can't operate in this business without what? A hedge. You cannot operate in this business because sooner or later, we'll crash or a rally and it's over. And you cannot leave yourself exposed like that. So what do you do? And this is where we say, Enter the hedges, enter the dragon, okay? Bring on the hedges. What are hedges? Enter the hedges, okay? Hedging. There are three primary hedges I use. The first one is known as a risk twist. The second one is known as a VIX vol spread, right? I'm terrible at writing with this pen, okay? VIX vol spread. The third one is known as a gamma iron. There are three definitive hedges that we use. Why do we use hedges? Hedges are a sacrificial lamb. If you do not throw the lamb into the volcano every couple of months, the volcano will kill you. That's it. Like, And is there a cost associated with hedges? Yeah, but what other costs do you have associated with being in this business? Your cost associated with being in this business is a little bit, a little bit of commissions, okay? And your learning curve. Otherwise, the hedges cost you doing business. Like if you have any kind of business, you're gonna have to have insurance on the business. There's no difference in here. You will pay a little bit for the hedges. And I, I don't sugarcoat that, but if you go into this business and you don't have hedges, you're already dead. You will not survive. Unequivocally, you cannot survive in this business without a risk reduction methodology. Try it. You'll find out real quick. That's how people like get blown apart selling options. So here, once again, we have the spiders and the spiders are trading at 380. Okay. We're going to sell, for instance, those 440 calls and we're going to collect a dollar. We're going to be selling 450 calls and collecting another dollar. Okay. We're going to sell, for instance, the 460 calls and collect a dollar. Consequently, we're going to be selling, for instance, 300 puts. And that's where the big money's at. Okay, collect two bucks and you're going to be selling 290 puts. Okay, collect another $2. You'll even be selling, for instance, 280 puts, collect another two bucks. But the only way that you can operate in this business is with these hedges. How do the hedges work? Okay, first, right here, we're going to lay in there a VIX vol spread. If the market's to crash, the VIX vol spread will explode in value. If it explodes in value, it's a very minute position. It is a very nominal cost associated with it. But if the VIX vol spread explodes in value, it'll literally provide an umbrella. The umbrella will help you exit these positions even in a crash event. It's not gonna make a difference. The harder we crash, the more the VIX vol spread is gonna be worth. So bring the pain. It is what it is. Will you take somewhat of a loss? Yes. Insurance doesn't cover everything, does it? Okay, no, okay. But again, in the event of a fire, this is gonna save your life. It's absolutely gonna save your life. It's gonna keep you in this business, okay? You're gonna have a nominal hit. 
go, how do you protect the upside? Use trades like gamma irons, okay? What is a gamma iron? The gamma iron is kind of the opposite of an iron condor. If we rally up, you have to pass through profitability before you can actually take a hit on the calls you sell. The cool thing is when the market rallies, markets typically don't, they explode to the upside, but as they go higher, volatility goes down. So the iron condor over here is actually worth more. The gamma iron is actually worth more than you would anticipate. This, people, is how we function in this business. It's an inventory management business. Do not let all the writing on the screen confuse you. This is what you want to do. This is what you've got to learn. This is why you want to sell premium. You can do this in a small account, $2,000 now. You have to have five grand for an IRA, $2,000 in a regular, uh, regular account. We produce positive theta decay. You can actually use these tactics on existing positions. What that basically means is you can learn to sell premium against stock positions, right? We provide an incredibly high probability of success. This year, this year, I have not used my hedge. I haven't used my hedge. You never need to buy or sell the stock and you can be wrong about market direction and still produce profitable trades. And I'm telling you right now, you know, I don't want to sound, you know, oh, you need this in your life. You need this in your life. When do you think that the Fed's going to stop raising rates? I don't know, maybe maybe later this year, well, after they tank the economy or before they tank the economy? Probably after, but nevertheless, okay, that's not necessarily going to bring stocks back, right? It's, it's going to be a volatile ride. It's, there's no clarity to what the future holds right now. There just isn't. Okay. Listen, selling premium could potentially bring in consistent returns while minimizing your risks. You want to learn how to learn, you know, sell premium the right way. We're going to talk a little bit about criteria. Criteria is the nuts and bolts. It's what actually comprises selling premium. But before I get there, here's a few live trading examples. Variations of all the following trades can be done with as little as $2,000 in a funded brokerage account. Now, I keep reiterating that. You can do this in an IRA at Tastyworks. You can do this with $2,000 at Tastyworks. What I'm showing you here, these are just some screenshots. Uh, this is 18 months okay, of results, 18 months of results. Okay? Every trade alert in the Theo Theta portfolio is included in here. I'm going to say that again. Every single trade alert. <coughs> okay is in here. So as I scroll through here, all I'm doing is showing you returns after return after return. And I'm just scrolling through and I want you to see, look, to open, to close, spy, spy. This is the opening, this is the closing. Here's the opening price, the closing price, the returns down below. And anybody that needs to see this, obviously it's in the deck, but I'm just scrolling through 18 months of different trades, QQQ and IWM, oh, there's a nice loss. Okay. And once you get a little bit more comfortable with the types of trades that we do, then we actually start scaling up. And again, I'm all the way back in 2021. As I said, I'm going to show you 18 months of returns. We use some bonds in here. Nice mix. Okay. By the way, see anything noticeable over here? 50%, 50%, 53%, 54%, 63%, 50%, 53%, 54%, 55%, 56%, 57%, 58%, 59%, 60%, 70%, 80%, 90%, 100%. Okay. They're all basically in the same wheelhouse. This is the ES short put. This is a much more substantial trade. When you start to learn a little bit more, you step up into the bigger portfolio, okay? So they're all right around 50% returns. This is every trade, no if and or but about it. Everything that we put into the trade alerts is on this particular. And again, I'm already, and I think I started on slide, what, you know, 35, and here we are on slide 109. We've had one loss. This is a Christmas tree trade. This is up the food chain a little bit. This starts to get a little bit more complicated, but it's $21 credit bought back for a $3 debit. <coughs> TLT, okay, I'm just scrolling through. And by the way, not everything is a smash hit. Okay, and everything works out the way. Most of them are right around a 50 to 54% return. Okay, and I'll just keep scrolling. Another Christmas tree trade. This is put on for a $22 credit, closed for about a, uh, oh, about a dollar debit, 92% return, ES short put. Okay, now we're in 2022 already. Okay, another Christmas tree trade. Look at this. This was a home run. It's a $3,953 profit on one contract on that one. ES short put. Every one of the trades that I'm showing you, okay, has text alerts. Every one of the trades is in a portfolio. I'll even show you the portfolios here. As I said, this is no holds barred. We show you everything, every hedge that we do. Another Christmas tree trade in here. Okay, 
We're all the way up to obviously uh, April of this year. Okay, I'm just scrolling through. No time, no problem. Listen, everything we just showed you, and I cut it off after 18 months of returns because I was like, oh my gosh, I just keep adding in more and more and more and more trades. By the way, I, I don't want you to think like that the last month has not been wonderful. I can actually show you uh, the trades from that particular portfolio, for instance. I'm still trading heavily in the ES. Okay. The reason I use, uh, the reason I, I take those uh, screenshots open, okay, you can start to see in here, it's a little bit complex to follow every single trade, but look, right? You can see to close, to close, to open, to close, right? And then there's opening trades over here. These are strangles to close, to close, to close, to open, to close, you know, to close, to open, to close. It's, it's, well, I'm sorry, I apologize. That's an opening trade. It's hard to match up in here. So I just show you a screenshot, but this is a trade that was just open on 628. It's actually uh, the one that's in the account presently. All right. So every single trade, if you ever have a question about it, we'll give you every piece of information. Listen, if you're looking at this right now, you're like, I don't have enough time for this. This is hands off. You can even use set and forget order types. So you can use GTC orders. That's good till canceled. It's very part time. All right. I don't want you to think you're sitting in front of the computer all day long, like I'm in, I'm out, I'm in, I'm out. There's some apprehensive moments like CPI tomorrow is a big number. Like I'll watch it, but it's not going to really impact what I'm doing. Even a fraction of your time is enough to see good results. What our members are saying, this comes from uh, Thomas. I'm up 80K since January 1st, 2022. Um, very short, you know, uh, again, as soon as it stages a rally, I'm getting out. Uh, I've been selling puts to uh, keep the time of rally eroding. All your strategy. It's called Ultima, okay? But I've sold no puts before this uh, this big downturn because you cautioned about it. Um, and again, I, I didn't sell very many uh, very many puts in this last move to the downside. A little apprehensive on that front. Characteristics of selling premium attributes of this are undeniable. You never buy and sell a stock. The risk is tailored to exactly the way you want it. And we actually use inflection point spreads. We use fixed volatility spreads. You're never going to use a stop order. You can vary time. Uh, frames and actually minimize your risk. The probability of profit is high. It's a perfect strategy to enhance your stock portfolio, but it's also like you got to realize that this is a great tool for seeking returns to either build account and you don't have to have a huge amount of money in the account because you can now trade with as little as $2,000 in your account. When it comes to building a portfolio of options, okay, do not let options intimidate you. In fact, I think it's, it's reasonable to pull this up right now. This is the start here menu. Okay, if you know nothing about options, the first thing you do when you get into Theotrade, by the way, this is Theotrade, this is our site. You go start here, options 101, options 201. If you need the basics, we have it, okay? Listen, this learning to sell premium, okay? As I said, it's akin to a massive power saw. Used correctly, you can create wonderful returns. Used incorrectly, you know, you'll lop off a couple of fingers. So those of you that are brand new, we want you to spend time in the start here menu. I mean, that's why we have it. So from absolute novice, Theotrade is designed from the absolute novice to the most extreme trader. So please, like, you know, use the available tools to you. And again, it doesn't cost you anything, right? All right, you need these strategies for the foreseeable market future. But one of the things that this really comes down to, this is not just about learning to sell premium. This is about criteria. This is about like, you wouldn't bake a cake without a recipe, so why do you trade without one? This is what you need to know to successfully sell premium for a living. You got to know what underlying stocks or indices make the best candidates, right? Okay. You got to know what volatility to seek out. I'm going to tell you right now, too much volatility, you're dead. Too little volatility, you're dead. You're not going to go out and sell premium on Walmart. It's not, not going to happen. You're not going to go out and sell premium in Tesla either, because Tesla, you'll see that in my account a few times. Yeah, a few times, but most of the time, Tesla is a wild child. You're not here to care about Tesla. You're not here to care about any stock. I don't care if you trade an index product for the rest of your life. Trade the S&Ps, trade the Spiders, trade the IWM, trade the NASDAQ. Okay, But the volatility you seek out is critical. The product you seek out is critical. The options expiration. Have you guys seen how many option expirations there are? Look at the Spiders for a second. Look at the Spiders. There's one day, three days, six days eight days. You know that they even went to daily expirations now? Look, every single day, every single day, zero day, one day, two day, three day. There's two, two day. Oh my. I mean, you name it. They got an expiration for it. It's ridiculous. 
we will dial in exactly what expiration. We'll give you the delta of the option to sell. We'll actually tell you which options to buy. When I say that we tell you, that's what criteria is. Criteria is like this pre-flight checklist that you're going to go through verbatim. There's no, you know, like, oh, skip a step. Don't add flour to the cake. What do you got? Okay. You got a pile of sugar. Anyway, uh, how do I build the position? Well, do I need a large amount of capital in my account to do this? Of course not. What's the right amount of risk for you? Dependent upon account size. And again, I stress this to you. Depending upon account size, we will dial in risk. What are the percentage returns supposed to be? Between 50 and 60%. <clears throat> How do I protect myself from market crashes? You need to learn hedges. Right now, we're using the inflection point spread. Let me show you exactly what we do here at Theotrade. Theotrade creates recipes in trading. Okay? Trading is always about the what ifs. What might be a good stock candidate, the correct expiration? You know, um, how much capital do you commit? Uh, what strike options do I sell? What options do I buy as a hedge? How can I limit my risk? All right. What we do here is we build you those answers. Theo Trade has the answers. We build recipes with definitive criteria. They're checklists. The idea of a checklist, by the way, literally comes from a pre-flight checklist. Like if you hopped into a 737 cockpit, no one you know, that's a pilot gets into a cockpit and goes, put the key in and throttle up. We're ready to go. They go through highly detailed checklists. The logic is the same here. We not only have a checklist for being able to get into the premium sale, but then we have a checklist to do like, what if we go up? What if we go down? What if dividends are coming? What if expiration is coming? What if volatility is raging? What if, what if, what if, what if? We have the answers to those questions. We build checklists for each strategy. In addition, we have each unique variable covered that you're going to encounter. Like what can happen in the market? Markets can go up. Markets can go down. Markets can stay flat. Time can move forward. Volatility can change. Expiration can come. Dividends are coming. Earnings and in individual stocks. Oh my! Like you start thinking about it. What else can change in here? Interest rates can change out there. It gets crazy. But the variables okay, can be identified. If you can identify variables, you can actually give somebody a recipe. That's exactly what we do. We have the answer to your questions. We'll give you the probability. How many option contracts for the account size? When do you close the premium sale? What if we sell off big? Do you bail out of the trade? What if we rally massively? Can I fix a losing position? It's the how, the when, the why. It's just the beginning of the variables. Just the beginning of the variables when selling Ultima premium for a living. You can read about what selling premium is. Okay? You even had to build a couple of trades. What you need to learn, though, is Theo Trade's recipe for success. 20 plus years trading experience. That's just me. Okay. We have eight full-time instructors here at Theo Trade, including myself. I had access to client order flow for 15 years. That's where a lot of this criteria comes from. A lot of what you learn here comes from watching literally millions in other people's mistakes. Because I ran education for 15 years at Both Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade. And we had the largest order flow. We had the largest retail order flow in the entire industry. Criteria is your recipe for success. When you build ultimate trades. Okay. We spent years fine-tuning this trade setup. We spent years fine-tuning the criteria. When you approach the section on criteria, <coughs> excuse me, you follow the steps to build a trade. The course is five hours. We do not sell. We do not sell the ultimate course. You open a Tastyworks account. Somebody says, I already have a Tastyworks account. We have other brokerage firms you can work with. Okay. Open a Tastyworks account you get immediate access to the course. Now you have to open the account and you do have to fund it, okay? The five-hour course is archived and available immediately for streaming. So the course is ready. And a class slide deck that includes all the entry and exit criteria is available immediately as well, okay? Why are we doing this? Again, it's not just about opening a Tastyworks account. And I'll take you through opening the Tastyworks account in a moment, okay? What you're gonna learn here, how to build a portfolio of high probability trades to generate consistent monthly income. You're gonna learn all the detailed entry and exit criteria while keeping risk at a minimum. You're gonna discover the Greeks and learn how to manage your position through one easy number. We're gonna talk about a risk array. By the way, my favorite section in the Ultima course is the risk array. People, it blows their mind. The risk array gives you clarity, all right, to whether the market's going up, down, sideways, you're gonna learn how to properly allocate in a way that reduces risk, okay? But also 
okay? Allows you to allocate more in a very hands-off manner. You're gonna discover risk mitigation techniques. This is hedges, okay? You're gonna learn how to sell premium in small accounts or even retirement accounts. By the way, I do this in my retirement account. Wanted to make that really clear. Over here at uh, Tastyworks, I apologize. Here at Tastyworks, okay? And the activity here in my positions, this is my SEP IRA. SEP IRA, I'm selling premium in the IRA, okay? And that's, it's important that you guys know that. You're gonna learn how to sell premium in your IRA or and or a small account. So you open Tastyworks account now, if you wanna access to the Ultima course. By the way, here at Theotrade, we don't stop there, okay? I'm gonna explain what Theotrade offers in a minute. And Theotrade and Tastyworks are completely separate companies. We have a marketing arrangement, nothing more. If you open a Tastyworks account now, we will give you 90 days of access to Theotrade. And that includes everything we do here at Theotrade. Okay, it's totally on the house and it's 90 days, it's three months. From the time you fund the account, we verify you're in, okay? Tastyworks is gonna hand you $200 in stock for opening the account, okay? Theotrade is also gonna pay for a small, uh, six, uh, a small exchange subscription fee. Very few of you are familiar with a new exchange. It's not a brokerage, it's an exchange like the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, the New York Stock Exchange, the NASDAQ. Now they're small exchange. They are small retail friendly products, okay? We are paying for your membership. We believe very strongly in the small exchange, it's a hundred dollar value, okay? You're also, in addition to this, if you can get your account up and funded very quickly, okay, you'll get into Brandon's six week beginner's guide to ultimate trades mastermind. It's a thousand bucks. It starts July 18th. So I'm telling you, today is already July 12th. You got to get, okay, up and funded. Yes, we will eventually add another Brandon mastermind, but I want people up and running immediately in here. Go to theotrade.com forward slash tastyworks now. The way there's no there's no cost. Like what happens is you open the tastyworks account, you fund the tastyworks account. Okay. We give you all right everything, the small exchange membership, Brandon's, you know, uh, mentorship. All right. We give you access to Theotrade. You never even give us a credit card number. All right. In addition to this, you receive the new inflection point class spread, which is a three-hour course archived. This is the newest way to reduce risk. The inflection point spread, it is an Ultima class, but you learn to sell an option and hedge all in one transaction. Creates a really high probability trade for consistent returns without having to worry about VIX and then place a trade. You do all of it in one transaction. You're gonna discover how to hedge existing positions in extreme environments. You're gonna to learn to analyze inflection point spreads. So you're never gonna be caught off guard by risk. And you're going to learn all the detailed entry and exit criteria and find how inflection point spreads can safely allocate for any account size. Inflection point spreads is what we're into right now. Uh, again, what our members are saying, Marianne, because of Theo, I closed my entire portfolio with profits, zero loss. Okay. I'm all in cash. Love it. All right. I want a bonus. So I'm going to explain a little bit about Theo trade. Like we get that, you know, Theo trade is, is all encompassing. We have eight different instructors and each of the instructors kind of specializes in one genre of trade. We're not just about options, but we go beyond one class or indicator. We understand that everybody wants everything to be able to trade and everything to be able to invest at one place and one price. We give the quick start beginner's guide. Okay. By the way, this is everything that's included with Theo trade. So you just open up a Tastyworks account and you get the quick start beginner's guide. What is the quick start? I've already showed this a couple of times, but here it's a start here menu. All of these classes, they're part of it. And you go, well, how does this work? You just come in here and go, all right, I wanna learn uh, a little bit about the crash course in Option Geeks, or I wanna learn about order execution part three, okay? You just click on it, okay? And literally it loads up and you're ready to fire, right? So the class itself will pop up right in here, okay? So that's, that's it. I mean, it's click and fire over here. So we have everything to get you ramped up from absolute novice to the most extreme. Bonus number two, we give you access to every trading class since inception of Theotrade. And Theotrade, the inception was in 2016. If you look at option classes, we have option classes, option newbies, technical analysis, day trading, stock trading. You have access to every one of these futures and bonds, hedging, trend trading, pairs classes, mindsets. We have an in-house psychologist. 
I'm your resident option geek. So I'm going to show you about the options. Look, Z spreads, inflection point spreads, income accelerator, Ultima, just to show you the inflection point spread class and how it works. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to show you right off the bat. Class is now playing. Okay. This is part one to download the slide decks right here. Okay. It's a very, very recent class. So I just go out and teach it. And uh, it's, again, this one's actually broken into three parts. Plus, I even include the Q&A in here. So it's a really, really complete class. But you have access to every single class that we've done since we started TheoTrade. And then people go, this, that's totally overwhelming. We've literally built like Netflix for traders. There's nothing, and I just want to make something clear here. We offer this to you at no cost right now. You could go out and spend $30,000 on your market education. I'll put this up against anything. You're never going to find okay, a more complete curriculum than what we offer here at TheoTrade at any cost. It doesn't matter where you go in the world. And again, I will put that up against anything. Okay, You're not going to have the experience. Our instructors have 15 years before they even come here to TheoTrade. 15 years of market experience. That's before coming to TheoTrade. So this is all the access to the different classes. Bonus three, we give you access to our chat room. If you're kind of curious about this, what does the chat room look like? It looks like this, okay? This right now, when I say this, this is live, okay? When I say live, it's live. Some reruns or some movies that are not. All right, so this is actually live. He's talking about Netflix, ironically. And uh, this is actually Brandon Chapman, all right? And again, kind of scroll down over here. This is clientele talking to one another. So in any given day, Right. And I, uh, I actually fully like to mention this, but in any given day, there are uh, approximately 6,000 clientele. We have over 2,500 people a day enter and exit the chat room. So feel free to talk to other clients in there. In addition to the chat room, <clears throat> you get to ask us questions and email. We do continuing education. We also have five different trading portfolios. I know it's overwhelming, but all of this is included in TheoTrade. There's nothing like we don't charge $500 a month for the chat room, okay? By the way, after, you know, people go, what do I do after three months? If you want to continue after three months, you can pay. It's $100 a month. That's it, okay? So your bonus number three is all access pass. And again, one of the things I want to stress in here, we answer trade-related questions in email. Nobody else does that. Like, you can ask us a trade-related question. Don't tell me that, you know, my dog's roommate's brother has a question about any, like, you know, about trading or about a position, just email me and say, hey, I'm in a bad position. What can I do about this? We're okay with that. Here's actually the instructors, Jeff Bierman, Matt Williamson, Corey Rosenblum, Brandon Chapman, Steve Miller, Tony Rago, Blake Young. Jeff Bierman actually helped build the Thinkorswim charts. Uh, he also is a professor at DePaul University in uh, Chicago. So that's uh, Jeff Bierman, Moonlight's with us here. And Jeff, I've actually known for almost about 15 years. He worked for the Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade before taking a, uh, a professor job. Pulled them back in here. Matt Williamson, market neutral premium selling option strategist. Corey Rosenblum is also a CMT. He's our resident swing trader. Okay, Brandon Chapman, CMT. He's macroeconomics, technicals and fundamentals. Steve Miller, that's our in-house psychologist, stocks, options and futures trader. Uh, Tony Rago, just trades intraday NASDAQ. Blake Young, Market Profile, Futures, Currencies, and Commodities Trader. So it's a pretty well-rounded crew here at uh, TheoTrade. It's everybody working from home during, uh, during COVID. We give you access to 59 proprietary indicators and scans. We don't sell the indicators that we use. <clears throat> we give you access to Theo Theta portfolio. This is Ultima. This is Ultima. You get to see the portfolio. We actually send the trades out to you, but it's the Ultima premium selling portfolio. It's no holds barred approach. Uh, we even include now what we call the Theo Theta small portfolio. And the small portfolio, that's accounts 2,000, 5,000, okay? Portfolio, just look something along the lines of this. We also do a weekly update. So no one has to sit here all day and like, is he going to trade? Is he going to trade? Listen, we text out trades, okay? And we also do push notification. One very important concept, when I say we do push notification, so uh, let's come in here and actually show you, okay? Theo Trade, Theo Trade, we have an app, okay? There's an app for that. And uh, that particular app, and it's kind of hard to see, but that particular app, <gasps> I'm making myself dark in here. That app actually includes 
You can uh, turn on push notifications if you can't receive text messages. So you can actually watch updates. The updates are 12 minutes. They're always done on a Friday morning. Watch the update, great. If you're comfortable with the trade, you can place it at that point. You don't have to sit here all day long and trade with us. Uh, bonus number five, technical analysis toolkit. This is literally, I mean, it's crazy. We have about 26 technical analysis classes here. Bonus seven, the day trading treasure chest. For those of you that want to trade on an intraday basis, every one of these classes has criteria. Bonus number seven, the mindset mastery. Um, this class right here, can't put enough uh, stress on it. Five Essential Building Blocks Successful Trading with uh, Steve Miller. That class, we initially did charge $1,000 for it's part of it. I'm serious, write it down. Last but not least, a quick start guide to ultimate trades. This is all part of Theo Trade. This is like a quick start guide is like a PDF. You know, when you open up like a new piece of technology, like a printer, it's like quick start guide. We built the same thing for you to be able to sell premium. What our members are saying, this comes from Pat. Thank you for your reply. It's very much appreciated. Theo Trade is the first educational trading service that I'm actually making a profit with and one which I see a pathway to retirement. We include everything, coaching, live set, you know, classes, coaching, email access to the instructors, live trading room, indicators and scans, mobile access, everything you're going to need. We literally built Netflix for trading. This is everything that we have in here. Go to theotrade.com forward slash tastyworks. Okay. Uh, my closed year-to-date profit and ultimate trades has paid for your yearly Theo Trade subscription. I just threw this in here because I want people to know, listen, after three months, after three months, if you still want to do Theo Trade, it's a hundred bucks a month. Okay. There's no if and or but about it. And we do not, we do not do uh, like memberships, like you're thinking, like we don't, you know, have reoccurring monthly. This is not like a gym membership. Today you receive Ultima, the quick start guide. Okay, 100 plus trading classes, access to our chat room, Theo Theta Live Portfolio, Theo Theta Small Portfolio, Technical Analysis Toolkit, Day Trading Treasure Chest, Mindset Mastery, which includes the Steve Miller classes, Ultimate Trades, it's all in here. Jeremiah, my first four trades following exactly the details in your Ultimate class just closed out. Okay, using GTC order set right after getting into the trade This paid for your class in less than a week. Uh, again, theotrade.com forward slash tastyworks. I'm going to answer a few general questions and kind of wrap things up over here. Um, <clears throat> somebody was saying, what's the minimum to open the account? It's $2,000. Okay. That's, that's no problem whatsoever. It's $2,000. I want you to see this, this little smattering over here. Okay. Theotrade is the best by far. Uh, I'll be with them for the rest of my trading career. No questions asked. Okay. I think there are many people here. Okay that make the cost of Theo Trade annual membership nearly every trading day. That's like a 250 to one return, right? It's huge. So <clears throat> this one comes from November 10th, 2020. I wanted to drop you a quick email. The class is wonderful. I've been stretched each session, but not beyond my capability. After each session, I watch the recording, do a little bit of homework, and I feel knowledge is growing steadily and rapidly. Obviously, I can't speak for my classmates, but it's going very well for me. Just a few quick emails. I'm going to answer some general questions and then some specific questions in here. People always ask me what I need to get started. You can have a laptop or you can even have like a mobile device now, uh, internet connection. Okay. By the way, we are not a membership. We don't auto renew. Uh, we provide weekly updates. So you can follow every move we make. So all I'm, I'm indicating with the weekly updates, you don't have to watch the screen 24 seven. You don't have to watch the screen six hours a day. We use text messaging. We use push notification. And if you miss everything, I do a video every Friday. And on Fridays, it updates you on everything that we've done in the previous week. And it's still, it's okay to be able to place trades after the fact. We archive everything because you can't watch everything all day, six and a half hours a day. And we provide you access to TheoTrade mobile. Everybody gets the mobile app. Like you don't have to pay for that. And you can even use the speed, which is you can change the speed so you can watch the archive at like one and a half times or two times the speed. Um, by the way, when you are uh, fully funded with Tastyworks, we're going to ask for your uh, cell phone number. The reason we're asking for your cell phone number is so we can send you and enroll you for uh, text alerts. You can email us anytime, receive a response within 24 hours. By the way, I'm huge about that. We have 6,000 clientele. Email us. If you have trade-related questions, you can't call Charles Schwab anymore. Like, ask Chuck. Chuck ain't going to tell you anything, right? Chuck, Chuck, they're not going to tell you anything. You're going to get, and I'm not trying to pick on anybody, but you're going to get, you know, a 28-year-old kid 
that just got his Series 7 on the phone these days, okay? Every one of us, we've had every brokerage license imaginable, myself, and Jeff Bierman, and Brandon Chapman, and Blake Young, okay, and more. Like, we knew the brokerage side of the business. We know how to answer retail trading questions. Um, you're going to gain access to every course that we've done, okay, since inception of Theotrade. Number nine, variations of all the trades can be done inside of an IRA retirement account. I am very retirement account friendly, okay? When you open the Tastyworks account, it has to have $2,000 uh, <coughs> at Theotrade. We will get you approved for options, specifically at Tastyworks. You don't even have to have approval, okay? If you put in $2,000 and you can breathe, you have approval for Tastyworks, all right? Um, take action. Let me answer some more questions over here. And again, I want to make sure everybody understands it's theotrade.com forward slash tastyworks. I'll pop this up. And when you come to our site, <clears throat> let me actually pull the link up over here. Again, it's theotrade.com forward slash okay, tastyworks, right? When you come in here and go to open an account, you'll literally will click on that. It'll deviate, take you over to tastyworks site start entering the, uh, the account. That's it. Okay. I mean, this is uh, all the information you're going to need to, uh, to be able to open the account, but again, Tastyworks account and, uh, and you're in it's three months on us. Uh, again, all of the bonuses that we discussed here, which is, uh, it's compliments. And, uh, we will also give you access to Brandon Chapman's, uh, six week course, although you do have to fund that account relatively fast. Uh, so again, $2,000 is the minimum. Wanted to make sure everybody was clear on that. Okay. Uh, and again, oh, I'm just looking over there. Okay. By the way, the funding process, uh, the funding process for the accounts at, uh, at Tastyworks is like second to none. They, they use a wonderful clearing firm called Apex Clearing. It's the largest independent clearing firm which is, uh, which is great. Somebody was asking what a Christmas tree spread is. We have a coaching session on that one. So by all means, when you're in Theo trade and have access to it, we will definitely show you what a little bit of a Christmas tree spread is. Just email us if you like that information. Okay. With, uh, with that, by the way, somebody was asking what I consider high skew. No skew right now is actually collapsed down, but there's an interesting premise because skew has come lower, the calls actually have extra premium in them right now. And the puts have a little bit less. So it would behoove you at this point based on skew and something we talk about extensively here at Theotrade. It makes sense right now to sell a call and to put simultaneously because the skew has actually fallen. Again, there's this constant tweaking and distortion of the distribution curve kind of backwards and forwards. It's huge edge right now. I mean, like uh, never seen calls like this. I mean, they're priced out of the money calls are priced at like, you know, almost 20% volatility in the back month premium. So it's, uh, it's an excellent deal. With that, I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. Again, it's just theotrade.com forward slash Tastyworks. We don't take any payment of any kind over here right now. Open up a Tastyworks account, fund it. You will not be disappointed. It's a phenomenal brokerage firm. Um, we are all adjusting to, uh, to the change from Thinkorswim into Tastyworks, but it's actually a good change. It's going to be the up and coming firm in, uh, and literally like, you know, the next decade, you're going to hear about Tastyworks. It'll be the, uh, you know, one of the biggest firms on the entire street. They're building next gen Thinkorswim, if you will. Thanks everybody. Have a wonderful afternoon. Bye-bye.